Hey guys, it's Crossover Thirty here. Just gonna give you a quick tutorial on Photoshop, how to do cool fancy text, like all that cool stuff that you see on TV, all that crap like that. I'm not really that good, but you'll see as we go along. So first of all, it's gonna do a new file. Just do the default settings. Now grab the text tool. Write what you wanna write. Just gonna write Crossover Thirty. Then do you do whatever you want to do up here, colours, font, text, whatever. Make that bigger. Once you're done, click the little tick and press Ctrl T and you can resize it. Just resize it to whatever you want. I'll bring it into the middle. Then it starts to get fun now. Go layer and layer style and click on drop shadow and that brings up this little box here of all options and everything and as you see drop shadow will already be ticked so if you untick it it gets rid of the effect as you can see I'm doing that there and then you got all options on this on the right side with what you can do to opacity distance spread size etc so then you can just muck around with all these settings here so you got outer glow as you can gives it an outer glow bevel and emboss I always do that it gives it a little tinge to it as you can see, I'll put the outer glow so you can see that better. Make it green. And make the spread size, noise, opacity. Um, satin. The color it's black, so you can't really see it, so I won't worry about that. Color overlay doesn't really give it a good effect. Gradient overlay that's pretty useful if you've got custom gradients or whatever. Um, pattern overlay. That just gives it a pattern overlay and stroke. Kind of gives it a border around the text, but I don't really use that. So if you sit down and take some time, you can get some really cool effects with the this layer style here. And it can be it can also be with anything. It doesn't have to be with text. So it can be whatever you want. And yeah, that's just my tutorial on Photoshop how to get cool fancy text. I'll be bringing out lots more. This is my first tutorial ever. So. Pretty cool and catch us later.